what's going on guys welcome back to another video so you know when you do mods and it goes right but a few months later it breaks yeah that's what happened to me uh, luckily it's just electrical issue if you guys watched one of my previous videos i did mod the side markers on the tl i cut them open i put switchback leds on them go check it out if you haven't it is a pretty dope mod and it's been reliable so far except for one side and that's the driver side uh, let me go show you what the issue is and here's the tl looking nice and sexy just put on the front lip put on the type s wheels we are good to start the season also let me show you guys the rear diffuser that should be my last video that i uploaded it looks pretty good i'm still 50 50 on it but let's go see it on with the led and here it is guys this is the front driver side side marker and this is the oem one it's looking real good switchback functionality still works but let me turn on the running lights check it out it's yellow that is super weird guys and that is because it should be either white or amber and i have no idea why it's yellow hopefully the camera can't pick up the exact color but this is what it's looking like and i have no idea why it's yellow because that that color led should not exist in there it's so weird but I need to take it out and try to figure out what's going on. I don't have a spare one, so this is the only one that I have. If the LEDs don't work out, then I'm just gonna put the original PCB board back in and run it just like how it is originally. Let me turn it off and put the blinker. And check it out guys, it's amber. So when I use the turn signal, it's amber. That's how it's supposed to be. So the white LEDs in there are, I don't even know what's going on with that one. They're busted, they changed color, which I didn't know that was possible. Not the best with electrical stuff, but it works. It's just the white LED that doesn't work. So I'm so confused. And I noticed this issue back in December, but it was just way too cold to work on the car. Um, it worked, so that's why I figured that was okay to just put it aside until it got warmer, which is right now, it's about 50 degrees out. Right now, it's the perfect time to work on it. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna patch it up with some tape because I don't have a spare one and get it fixed by today, if not the next day. It's actually really good to see that this held up really well. So this full tape does the job. I know it's probably there's a better solution, but it works on a budget. How I had it before was the side marker right there, but behind it was the switchback module and it fits in just perfect, just enough space to have it just like that. And yep, that's what's going on for the past, I don't know, four months already. It was way too cold. That's why it didn't work on it. The LED worked. It's just not displaying the right color, which I don't understand. All right, let's bring it inside. Let me take it apart and see what's going on. We're inside and here is the side marker. Just real quick, this is the switchback module and here are the wires, black is ground red is for power and i believe this is turn signal it's really easy to wire up leds behind here and let me confirm that it is working for testing wires i usually use this little converter right here it's basically a usb plug usb type a on one side that runs 12 uh, 5 volts into 12 and then this will these wires right here they have alligator clips and that's pretty much it what I use to test any like 12 volt LEDs yep and still yellow so let's try to figure that out and 
I'm gonna hit the turn signal wire, turns amber, and it should turn into white, but it is still yellow. Let's take it apart and see what's up. So you guys see these LEDs right here. The amber ones are like orange, of course, but the white ones, they look brown. So they, I think it's burnt out. Even if this like silicone stuff is like yellowing, it shouldn't be like that. Like even if it's yellow, the LEDs should shine bright enough to be white, but kind of looks burnt. And it's weird because the other side is perfectly fine. I installed both at the same time. So it might be the quality of these LEDs that are bad versus the other ones. Maybe they are manufactured different, but I don't think there's a way to, to fix this issue. So I think I'm going to have to put the, the old OEM PCB back in and uh, patch it up and run it like that just so that I have a side marker working. I might do the same thing for the other side. So I went through some of my inventory and I don't have another uh, one of these switchback LED modules right here. So I'm out of luck. I do have to revert it back to OEM just so that I can uh, get it working. I don't have a spare side marker unfortunately, but check this out. My suspicions were correct. Those white LEDs, like there's amber and then you see the brown ones, it's not supposed to be brown. This is the original color right here. So it's a big discrepancy. The LEDs in here are definitely like burnt or going out or whatever it is. It's basically done. So I'm gonna just toss this out. I don't know what is causing the issue maybe too much power or i'm leaving it on too much i have no idea i do drive at night a lot so those leds are pretty much powered on almost every time that i drive i could try to take this apart and solder but these connections are really really tight like you see those little lines those are i could solder it but i am not that skilled at soldering so um, plus these are cheap enough to just get another one anyways, but I'm not going to do that. So it kind of sucks that the switchback module blew out or the LEDs blew out, but that's perfectly fine because once I get my RGB headlights uh, up and running again, uh, I'm still playing the build. I'm still trying to get all the parts. It's still kind of pretty hard to source the parts that I want. Particular halos that I want are sold out everywhere or out of stock everywhere so I can't really go that route but I might not switch up too much I might just switch out the LEDs so I'm gonna revert this back to OEM spec uh, put the old the original OEM PCB in there patch it up and just drive around until I get my RGB headlights up and running. Although in the future, just like the rear side markers, these are in the future going to be RGB. So I'm throwing these in. Uh, these are the RGB LEDs that I have in the rears. If you guys didn't watch my video, check that out where uh, the rear side markers and the rear taillights are RGB. The whole thing is uh, controlled by this module right here. Ghost lighting, this is what I'm going to be using for RGB headlights version 2. Still planning out, still working on it, so no promises when it's going to be done, but I'm super hyped about that. In the meantime, I do have other mods planned, but let's get to repairing that side marker. And here it is, all patched up, ready to go. Basically that rubber butyl to help seal it up and foil tape for extra measure. It's not the prettiest, but it works and you're not gonna really see it once it's installed. So tomorrow should be a nice day. I, luckily I did tape it up because it did rain uh, later at night. So this is ready to go. Should be plug and play.
it's the next day. I just got done installing the side marker. Super easy, same thing as removal. The tape definitely helped because it did rain overnight. It was super dry, the tape was pretty easy to remove. So if you guys are doing a mod like this or just a side marker, for any reason you need to cover that up, tape will do, it will get you by. And I did indeed patch it up correctly. So super easy to revert back to stock. Everything connects perfect, all tested out, lights up like normal. And since I had all the materials to do that LED switchback mod, it didn't really cost me anything. So overall, this was just more of a learning experience. I did say in that video that I wasn't sure about the quality of the LEDs and right here, is exactly what I'm talking about. Usually the ones that they sell on eBay or Amazon are pretty cheap. The quality of them are all over the place. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And if you want this to be more of a permanent mod, definitely look and research and buy high quality LEDs. Basically when you mod stuff, sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong. But overall, it was a good learning experience. And whenever I get the RGB headlights going, those side markers are gonna be RGB also. So basically all the LEDs on the outside are gonna be RGB that's gonna be quite literally lit anyway guys that wraps it up for this video thanks for watching as always I'll catch y'all in the next one peace